normally when people talk about machine learning right so how it operates is that you have a set of quote unquote labeled examples so that is a specific input it could be an image it could be you know a set of numbers that you give and you expect the machine to produce a certain output it could be okay if this is an image i want you to say it is an at play or if this is an image i want you to say it is a deer so that's basically what you were wanting this to learn but there are a lot of problems which do not naturally fall in this paradigm the usual example i give is a lot of learning to cycle suppose you are learning to cycle nobody can sit down and say okay if your cycle is going at this speed and it is tilting at this angle then you should push down with your right leg with so much you know pounds of pressure the typical feedback you will get is if you are a, if you are a kid learning and that there's a parent watching you or some or an elder watching you and say oh no please be careful don't fall right? so things like that right so that's all the kind of in instruction you're going to get so these kinds of problems somebody is telling you you are doing something wrong when they say hey careful careful that means they're telling you you're doing something wrong but they don't tell you what is right so such kinds of problems where the feedback is more you know more sparse right somebody is not telling you what is the right thing to do but is evaluating your output i mean the mathematical formalism that allows you to learn is what reinforcement learning is